The problem statement in question 4 of this exercise says how many terms of the AP 9, 17, 25 and so on must be taken to give a sum of 636. So basically as we take more terms of this AP the sum will increase. For example the sum of the first two terms will be 9 plus 17 which is 26. The sum of the first three terms will be 9 plus 17 plus 25 which will be higher and so on. So if you take more and more terms of the AP, the sum will become higher and higher. And the question basically asks us to find how many terms should we take so that the sum becomes 636. So let's solve this problem step by step. So let's start by supposing that the, num the number of terms to be taken, let's say that this is equal to n. And this basically means that Sn, the sum of the first n terms, must be equal to 636. Now, we're going to use the relation for Sn in terms of a, n and d. So, Sn or the sum of n terms can be written as n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this is the relation we're going to use. So, let's plug in the uh, values into this uh, relation. So, we will get Sn which is uh, which we want to be 636 this will be equal to n by 2 into 2a now a is equal to 9 the first term so 2a will be equal to 18 plus d is equal to the difference between any pair of consecutive terms so d is equal to 8 so n minus 1 into 8 or 8 into n minus 1 and now if we simplify the right side we get n by 2 into 18 plus 8n minus 8 and we can write this as n by 2 into 18 minus 8 is 10 so 8n plus 10 and if we divide uh, the bracket by 2 we get n into uh, 4n plus 5 and if I now multiply n with the bracket I expand it I will get 4n square plus 5n so 4n square plus 5n is equal to 636. Let's write this as a standard form quadratic equation. So 4n square plus 5n minus 636 is equal to 0. And now if we solve this quadratic equation and find the value of n, we will get our answer. To solve this quadratic equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So I'm going to first calculate the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So d is equal to b square minus 4ac or 5 square minus 4 into a is 4 and c is minus 636. So this is what we get. So 5 square is 25 and we get minus 4 into 4 into minus 636 or plus 16 into 636. So you can check that the value of uh, this expression is equal to 1200 and uh, sorry 10201 and this is the square of 101 so d is a perfect square d is the square of 101 and now if we apply the quadratic formula to uh, this quadratic equation we get n is equal to minus b or minus 5 plus minus root d so d is 101 square so root d will be 101 by 2a so a is 4 so 2a will be 8 so these are the two roots of n if i take the plus sign i get minus 5 plus 101 by 8 so that's 96 by 8 and if i take the minus sign i get minus 5 minus 101 by 8 so i get minus 106 by 8 now clearly this root is invalid because it gives us a non-integer non-positive integer uh, value of n. Uh, what we need is n to be a positive integer which is what we get from this first root uh, 96 by 8 so this is equal to 12. So the only valid un value for n is 12 and this means that 12 terms must be taken for the sum to be equal to 636. So the answer to this question is uh, that 12 terms should be taken. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap. 
a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.